for different seasons, for different uh, geographical region, ocean or continental uh, modeling. And um, they, very, they are uh, very good for some technical problems. But uh, for scientific uh, uh, problems. When uh, you would like to study uh, influence of different uh, factors to radiation, to radiation forcing or uh, some uh, radiative divi divergence in uh, atmosphere, uh, it's maybe uh, better to use more simple modeling, uh, even homogeneous atmosphere. Uh, for uh, to feel what's the uh, influence of different factors. Uh, uh, so I um, uh, ma made this study for with these purposes. Uh, okay, so I uh, present here uh, two university, even uh, Saint Petersburg State University. It's my main place of my work, and the part-time uh, professor in Russian State Geometrological University uh, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the objective speech I have listed just now. Uh, and then uh, in St. Petersburg University, I think about 30 or even years ago, there are uh, um, some um, several decades was uh, um, fulfilled a um, very uh, mm, interesting uh, airborne observations of uh, semispherical radiative fluxes in short wave uh, region uh, in the clear atmosphere sounding in the different altitudes and a cloudy atmosphere. And I will uh, use this uh, data for compari comparison of my uh, just model mod modeled theoretical uh, results with the uh, experimental um, uh, data. Okay. So it's a very simple, there's a very evident optical parameters of atmosphere. It is a, a optical thickness. Uh, Aerosol scattering, aerosol absorption, molecular scattering, molecular absorption for clear atmosphere. And for cloud atmosphere, the addition of the opti cloud optical thickness. And the, I uh, consider different cases, for example, uh, homogeneous atmosphere uh, when cloud uh, as a smooth in all atmosphere, just added uh, to the clear atmosphere, and two layer uh, case. And the ground albedo, which uh, I uh, use he in my modeling, only three cases, 0, uh, 0.5, and 0.9. And, uh, but it's more, be more complicated, uh, different uh, wavelengths, uh, different values of uh, uh, surface uh, ground albedo. Okay, it's like about ground albedo a bit uh, more. It's uh, from from the uh, airborne observations which I have talked. Uh, the th three cases, main three surfaces: water, snow, and sand. And uh, the, uh, here um, you can see the many many curves different uh, from different observations, uh, and uh, some uh, the uh, approximation uh, with with uh, some um, uh, uh, linear and uh, polynomial approximation. Is, uh, uh, our processing of uh, airborne observations here in this article you can see, you can find. So uh, I now uh, in St. Petersburg University, I uh, deal with the uh, light sounding of the atmosphere in the city, and we have two uh, complexes, one stationer in the center of the city and another the uh, mobile on the car. And so I uh, use for compar comparison some of our uh, last latest uh, uh, data data about aerosol uh, amount in the atmosphere. It is uh, our system, uh, <laughs> some details, uh, oh, it's a uh, bit later. So it's, it's the same, it's about the technique, we nice pictures, and uh, we, 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 we measure the vertical profile of wind uh, too. 
It is the some uh, results of the uh, 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 such a uh, pollution uh, city uh, above, above city uh, had had pollution, and uh, during during an hour in one hour, and uh, the same picture till 25 kilometers into so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, younger uh, younger layer uh, the stratospheric air zone. It's possible to see. So uh, the, uh, the optical parameters of the clear atmosphere, which I have uh, used. Oh, I use uh, four aerosol modeling. So here only three. Uh, there are no aerosol at all. Uh, the the um, small aerosol amount, and it is a very uh, had a huge uh, amount of aerosols, uh, which uh, some maybe not so real, but sometimes it's happen. Um, if uh, Elena talk us about the Moscow event of uh, 2010, uh, the same, this was a v v very, very big um, um, values of optical aerosol sickness. And um, here are the results of the, the, the optical sickness and uh, uh, single scattering albedo. It is a very important parameter for the calculations, which uh, show us uh, the uh, degree of uh, um, absorption, uh, radiation absorption in the atmosphere. And um, so uh, here the, the result. Uh, the, the, this, these parameters, the single scattering albedo and optical sickness, which are used in radiative modeling then. It is uh, uh, the same the, in the picture, clear atmosphere, optical sickness, and single scattering albedo. Uh, it is a uh, modeling data. Uh, it is a, a bit uh, uh, more uh, clear, the lighter sounding. It's two wavelengths in UV and uh, view, uh, visual. Uh, it is possible to find um, this, our last um, uh, publications about it. So uh, this is a comparison of uh, mm, my modeling, model, modeling and uh, sounding, lidar sounding, and the airborne observations above Ladoga Lake and in the ground observations. Uh, optical, optical, uh, optical sickness. It is an optical sickness. Okay, it is a uh, uh, calculations of uh, radiative characteristics in the case of clear atmosphere. Uh, some uh, for different models, there are no aerosol at all. The uh, uh, different colors uh, 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 curves and the white curve. It is uh, observations, uh, airborne observations. Uh, this is a different uh, different uh, values of ground albedo. Uh, here the model aerosol one, the mm, small aerosol, but it exists uh, uh, pres present, uh, and the same, the comparison with uh, observational data. Uh, and uh, much more is relative divergence for very uh, uh, big amount of aerosols and uh, comparison with observations after the sandstorm and the desert Karakum. Uh, so about cloudy atmosphere now. Uh, so I use the uh, optical sickness uh, uh, constant over the spectrum. Uh, so for every wavelength, I use uh, uh, simple uh, um, optical models and then calculate for different uh, wavelengths. It's you can take uh, so many wavelengths how, how you would like. So for example, I, I use the 12. Uh, so uh, the, the constant over the spectrum, uh, five and 10, some typical enough uh, values for uh, low stratiform clouds in, uh, in uh, um, uh, not in tropics, but uh, in the more most in to, to, to clouds north. And then uh, cloud two model, it is a two layer atmosphere. Uh, so the cloud uh, layer and the above uh, clear atmosphere. And then cloud three, it is a spectral dependent optical sickness. This is uh, dependence I have um, uh, obtained when I uh, solve the inverse problem from the radiative observations, retrieve optical sickness. In uh, 10 cases, I have uh, obtained the spectral dependent optical sickness. 
Yeah, the optical parameters of cloud. Uh, there is one maybe important point. Uh, till now, uh, most of the uh, 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 people who calculate radiation uh, cons uh, consider that uh, clouds in shortwave uh, spectral range uh, uh, does not uh, op absorb the radiation and uh, uh, assume the single scattering calibido uh, equal to one usually uh, uh, out of the uh, molecular bands. But you can see that only in the case when uh, ab uh, full um, ab ab <laughs> absent of aerosols, we have this, this value here. Uh, wow. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so only uh, unit, unit, the when there are no aerosol at all. In any uh, other cases, we have uh, three uh, nines about, or uh, more difference, most difference from unit, this important parameter. Uh, it is very important because uh, this uh, uh, conservative scattering, as, as, as uh, people talk, only in the case of full uh, absence of aerosols possible. So I don't know why till now the most people assume just only these cases for clouds. But uh, it's necessary to uh, point out that uh, these uh, values uh, provides uh, the, um, about from 10 till 25 percent of absorption of solar radiation that fall in the top of clouds. So cloud atmosphere absorbed uh, enough uh, uh, radiations in the cl uh, atmospheric layer. So this, this is different for clouds uh, for five and ten. It's, uh, you can see, and this uh, it is about uh, above cloud uh, layer. There not something special, and uh, the cloud three is a uh, spectrally dependent model. Uh, the, 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 the effect the same uh, uh, for single scattering albedo. So this is some uh, pictures about the same. And it is a uh, uh, comparison with the parameters which was uh, retrieved from uh, radiat radiation airborne uh, and uh, measurements, observations. It is a single scattering co-albedo, unit minus uh, scattering albedo. And uh, this uh, thick, thick uh, lines, it is my modeling. And uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, um, uh, retrieval, retrieval, retrieval dependence that uh, all consistent with the modeling. Uh, it is a, a radi radiation, radiation calculation, radiative divergence uh, in the, uh, and, um, at Ladoga, above Ladoga Lake, above the Ladoga Lake, and uh, some two, model, two models of azoles. Um, uh, uh, the same for um, uh, gate experiment. It was in tropics at above Atlantic Ocean, uh, close to Sahara, to, the, to North West Africa, and uh, uh, above Ladoga, and uh, different azole modeling. Uh, and it is a, a, a relative, relative uh, values of radiative divergence and comparison with observations also. So you can uh, find the data about uh, observations, and uh, there are um, semispherical fluxes. There are uh, some uh, different approaches of uh, inverse problem um, solution for clear and for cloud atmosphere and result of this inverse problem. In this case, in these books, you can see. And some about radiative forcing. So uh, here you can see that radiative forcing is sure it is a, a, um, some average during a year and global characteristics. It is a something uh, sim similar, but it's a local and not uh, average in time. Uh, so, but uh, in all cases, uh, we uh, can see that cloud 
cloud uh, um, give us uh, negative forcing and uh, aerosol in especially in cloudy atmosphere give a, a very uh, significant significant uh, radiative forcing uh, in cloudy atmosphere most uh, bigger than in clear atmosphere uh, something about heating rate uh, so you know, some uh, values uh, for aerosol three models when we have a lot of uh, at a very very big uh, very high aerosol uh, uh, amount in the uh, atmosphere the uh, um, significant uh, heating rate sure so the conclusions that it's uh, very well uh, Simple models is effective enough and uh, is uh, consistent with the experiments and is possible to use it. Uh, so I think that my main, uh, but uh, sure, this radiative calculations is uh, very important for climate uh, simulations and use its uh, necessary use for climate simulations, more correct modeling, especially for cloudy atmosphere, and necessary to account the aerosol amount in cloudy atmosphere. So acknowledgement to our research park of St. Petersburg University is, well, is where I uh, have worked. And the, some contracts in the uh, Russian state uh, hydrometeorological university. And so some cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you have some question? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think very simple. Uh, in your uh, earlier uh, uh, graph, you have shown the contributions uh, to all with the water sign and the uh, snow cover. Uh, uh, snow I, I, albedo, albedo, high albedo. Uh, my question, why don't you, I think, uh, consider the cloud? I think it's also a great contribution to all the upper part of the cloud. It is above, above uh, Ladoga, Ladoga, the Ladoga Lake, uh, uh, ice and uh, snow yeah. covering uh -huh. coverage. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in March, in, uh, in, even in April, we have the uh, s snow in the Ladoga Lake and uh, observations. Uh, ah. You mean that there is no contribution of cloud to all with clou in cloudy in cloudy cases, but we have we have a clear and clear atmosphere observations, and in cloudy cases too, both 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 uh, cases. Okay, thank you. Lena, thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you.